Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you, how to share files between computers or laptops over a local network, this will be useful for both office workers and home users. As an example, I will use a computer with Windows 11 Pro and a computer with Windows 10 Pro, which are connected to the same Wi-Fi router. First, go to the settings on the computer with Windows 11, which is located in another room, and I open settings. Here we see the name of my computer, for ease of recognition I will change this name, you can also give any names to your computers at your discretion. To do this, you need to click, Ren Me, and in the window that opens, I will set a new name for the computer, PC1. Next. Restart later. Open the Network and Internet section, and click, Properties. Switch the setting to Private Network, that is, instead of the general available network, select a private network, and open network and internet again. Then click on Advanced Network Settings. Then open the Advanced Sharing Settings tab. Here we see a menu with three settings, these are Private Networks, Public Networks, and All Networks. Go to the Private Networks tab, and check that Network Discovery is enabled here, as well as file and printer sharing is enabled. Next, go down a little lower and go to the Public Networks tab. Check that Network Discovery is enabled, file and printer sharing is also enabled. Go down lower and open the All Networks tab. Here, check that Shared Folder Sharing is enabled, connecting 128-bit encryption file sharing is recommended, and sharing with password protection must be disabled. In order for all changes in the settings to take effect, you need to reboot PC1. On PC2, first I will change the computer name, and to do this, I open the This PC window. Right-click on an empty space and select, Properties. In the window that opens, I open Advanced System Settings, then open the Computer Name tab, and click, Change. I enter a new name, PC2. OK. OK. Restart later, and close all these windows. Now I open, Settings, Networks and Internet, and click, Properties. Here you need to switch the settings to a private network. And again I open the Settings window, then Networks and Internet. In the window that opens, I open the Internet section, and here I click, Change Advanced Sharing Settings. In the window that opens, we see three tabs with network settings, I will make some changes here, and you can repeat all my actions on your computer. In general, these are the same settings that we changed on PC1, the only thing is that in Windows 10 it will look a little different. As a result, you need to save the changes, close all windows, and reboot the computer. OK, to connect from PC2 to PC1 via a local network, I open Explorer and click the tab with the inscription, Network. In this window, we can see all the devices that are currently connected to my Wi-Fi router, as well as the shortcut for PC1, I double-click on it and the user's folder immediately opens. I open this folder, and here we see the public folder, and in it there are several folders that are created by default for exchanging files on the local network. To show how this works, I'll open the public photos folder, 
and drag a photo from PC2's desktop into this folder. And the now PC1 can save this photo to its computer. Let's see how this is done on PC1. I'll open File Explorer. Go to Drive C. Open the Users folder. Then open the Public folder. And open Public Photos. Here we see that the photo I placed in the Network folder from PC2 has become available on PC1, and can now be downloaded from there or simply dragged onto the desktop of PC1. To transfer files from PC1 to PC2, I'll drag files from the desktop into this same folder, and now PC2 can use these files. For ease of use, you can move the public folder shortcut to the desktop or another location of your choice. To do this, open Explorer, then this PC, open Drive C, and open the Users folder. Right-click on the public folder, and select Send to Desktop. Now you can open public folders on the desktop, let's check this folder on PC2. I open Explorer again, then click on Network. Double click on the PC1 shortcut, open the Users folder, Public, open Public Photos, and here we see the folder with files that I dragged from the desktop to PC1. Now this folder, as well as other files, can be downloaded or dragged to the desktop from PC1 to PC2 and vice versa. In general, everything is fast, simple, and convenient. Now I will tell you about some problems that sometimes appear in the local network and how to fix it. When connecting to a local network, a situation may occur that the shortcut of another computer sometimes will not be displayed, and then you can try two ways to solve this problem. Right-click on Start, and select, Run. Then write, Slash, Slash, PC1. Click OK, and the Network folder with the Users folder will immediately open. This was the first way to fix this problem, now let's look at the second method. Right-click on the Desktop and select Create, Shortcut. In this window, also slash, slash, PC1, next, finish. A shortcut for PC1 has appeared on the desktop, double click on it, and the network window with all shared folders for transferring files on the local network will open again. If in the future you want to restrict access on the local network, then in settings on all computers, Disable the private network setting and switch it to a public network, after which your networks and folders will not be available to anyone, and they will not be displayed on the network. If you liked this video, please support it with a like and a subscription to the channel, and do not forget to click the bell so that more people can watch it on YouTube. Until next time on my channel, and bye everyone.